Many people know that Ellen Dorch became Helen Longstreet. Yes, she changed her first name too, when she married General James Longstreet of Civil War fame. You probably know that she lived in Gainesville and attended Georgia Baptist Female Seminary, now Brunel University. Here are some lesser known facts about this champion of causes that range from the environment to civil rights. A woman dubbed the fighting lady, but not just because she once ran off a burglar by firing a pistol at him. Helen Dorch Longstreet was active in the women's suffrage movement and campaigned for blacks' right to vote. Her writings were published widely and she lectured often, advocating for progressive reform. As president of the Tallulah Falls Conservation Association, she called the power company a soulless water power trust when Georgia Railway and Power said it would build a dam on the Tallulah River in Tallulah Gorge. She recruited speakers who spread out all over the state, campaigning against the dam. She lost, but today, trails around Tallulah Gorge are named in Helen Longstreet's memory. She served as Gainesville's postmaster and as assistant state librarian, making her the first woman to hold office under Georgia's state government. She authored the Dorch Bill, passed by state legislature in 1896, making it possible for women to hold the office of state librarian. She raised eyebrows when, at the age of 34, she married General Longstreet, who was 76. She married him because she loved him, she said. Besides, she added, I would never marry a simpering man who had no ideas in his head and who lacked the energy to make a man of himself. During World War II, Helen worked as a riveter at Bell Aircraft in Atlanta. Bell found out she was 80 years old and wanted her to leave. She wouldn't, declaring she was number one in her riveting class. In 1950, she ran an unsuccessful independent campaign for governor against Herman Talmadge. She railed against what she called five evils, communism, Ku Klux Klanism, county unitism, one-partyism, and Talmadgeism. She fought corrupt politicians and spearheaded projects to lift people out of poverty. She worked as a journalist and even started her own newspaper, The Chronicle, in Milledgeville. After her husband's death in 1904, she doubled her efforts to resurrect his reputation, especially in her book, Lee and the Long Street at High Tide. She died May 3, 1962, at age 99, she was buried in Westview Cemetery in Atlanta. She said out of respect for the first Mrs. Longstreet, she didn't want to be buried in Gainesville's Alta Vista Cemetery, where her husband and his first wife were buried. When she was inducted into Georgia Women of Achievement in 2004, the organization described her this way. She put her heart, financial resources, persuasive words, and spirit into righting the wrongs of the world and altered the lives of Georgia citizens through her efforts. And that's why today we honor the memory of Helen Dort Longstreet, the fighting lady and champion of many causes.